Hi, it's Ann Emery. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can recategorize values with if statements or with lookup formulas like VLOOKUP. If statements tend to be faster if you're only recategorizing a few things. In the previous video, we recategorized apples, bananas, carrots, and watermelons, just four original types of produce into being apples or others. So four originals, two end products, or we recategorize these as fruits or vegetables with a nested if that only had four pieces in there, so it wasn't horrible, you know. Um, but let's say you had a ton of things to recategorize. In that case, VLOOKUP tends to be faster. So let's look at how you would use VLOOKUP to recategorize this. VLOOKUP is what you use when you need to connect two different tables. So you'd have your table that you're trying to fill in in your data set, and you'd also have a separate lookup table, a secondary supporting table. This table in real life would probably live in a separate Excel file altogether, or maybe it would be in sheet two or sheet three of your same workbook. The idea here is that you would have to list, before you do your analyses, all of the types of produce that you might find in your data set and what the correct answer is. You would just list this out once and then you make these tables talk to each other with the power of VLOOKUP so that you're not, you know, one by one typing in this is an apple and this is an other times like 10,000 entries. Now in real life, you're probably not recategorizing types of fruit and vegetables, but you probably are recategorizing things like states into regions of the US or countries into regions of the world. There are a lot of different categorizations that are pretty common. Let's use VLOOKUP to fill in this table. We type in equals VLOOKUP, select the value that we want to look up, our ID number in this case, comma, where do we want to look it up? Well, we want to look it up in this secondary supporting character. Uh, the secondary supporting table, add dollar signs before the A, before the 20, before the C, before the 28, to hold that table steady right there so it doesn't move around as we drag our formula down the sheet, comma, which column of this secondary table do we care about? Right now we care about column two, comma, type in false 99% of the time. Close your parentheses, press enter, take this value, fill it down. You do it one more time, equals VLOOKUP, look up this value, where do we look it up? In this table, we don't want that table to move around, so we have to change our relative cell references into absolute cell references with the dollar signs comma, we care about the fruits versus vegetables column, column three, comma, false, close parentheses. It doesn't matter which approach you use. You could use the if statements all nested together, or you could use VLOOKUP. You're going to get the same result either way. I wanted to show you both approaches so you can think about which one you're personally drawn to. You'll probably grasp one easier than the other. I think I probably understood VLOOKUP before I understood IF because nested IFs can take a while to get used to, but maybe you're drawn to IF over VLOOKUP. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer either way.